great to see you. My name is Jessie, and of course, I'd rather be with you in person, but I'm so grateful to have you online with me. We're having fun this month talking about responsibility. Responsibility is showing you can be trusted with what is expected of you. All month, we're discovering some rules for life that will help us live with responsibility. Just like how there are rules for all of our favorite board games we've played so far this month, we're finding some really important rules for living too. The game we're going to play today will require some thinking and a partner to play with. Here's how the game works. The first player will name an animal, for example, a dog. The next player must name an animal that starts with the last letter of the word dog, like giraffe, since giraffe starts with the letter G. The next player must name an animal that begins with the last letter of giraffe, and so on. We will play for 60 seconds. The player who says the last animal before time runs out is the winner. Let's start in three, two, one, go. I love seeing you work hard and use your head to try to win the game. Now, let's all get on our feet and get ready to sing and worship God. You never turn away, you never leave my side. And every time I call your name out just to find that you're already right here with me, never been alone. Trust you with my heart Cause this I know You are always faithful You love me from the start No matter what I'm facing I will trust you with my heart You are more than able To lead me through the dark Your love is never failing I will trust you with my heart Oh, oh, oh. I will trust you with my heart Days when I feel I need a friend And then I hear your voice reminding me again That you're already right here with me Never been alone I can trust you with my heart Cause this I know You are always faithful You love me from the start No matter what I'm facing I will trust you with my heart trust you with my heart no matter what may come no matter what i go through god you are never gonna fail me i will trust you with my heart you are always faithful you love me from the start no matter what i'm facing i will trust you with my heart you with my heart.
The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Proverbs, chapter 6, verses 6 through 8. King Solomon was young when he became ruler of Israel after his father David. One night, God spoke to him in a dream. Ask for anything you want me to give you. What? Solomon had just been given the greatest gift of all time. He could have asked for anything. Unlimited money, the power to defeat all of his enemies, or even to be the best loved, longest living king of all time. Instead though, Solomon made a different ask. Lord, you have now made me king, but I'm only a little child. I don't know how to carry out my duties, so give me a heart that understands. Then I can rule over your people. I can tell the difference between what is right and what is wrong. Solomon asked for wisdom and God gave it to him. In fact, Solomon became known as the wisest man to ever live. Over the course of his life, he shared many wise sayings that were later recorded in the book of Proverbs. These sayings are to help people do what is just and fair, to help young people learn wisdom. Only fools refuse to listen and learn. The wisdom recorded in Proverbs gives godly advice about nearly everything, from using words wisely to staying away from trouble. But the most famous passages talk about the value of hard work. You people who don't want to work, think about the ant. Consider its ways and be wise. It has no commander, it has no leader or ruler, but it stores up its food in summer. It gathers its food at harvest time. When was the last time you paid attention to an ant, other than the one that you were gonna squash on the kitchen floor? To better understand what Solomon means about work, well, I think it's time we take a closer look. Did you know that there are about one million ants on Earth for every single human? Yikes! My skin is crawling right now. But just look at how amazing these little guys are. Like Solomon said, nobody lays out a set of rules for them. Nobody offers them an allowance or more screen time if they finish their work. God made them in such an incredible way that they stick with it and get the job done. In fact, some ants can lift up to 50 times their own weight. If you were that strong, you could lift an entire car. And ants use that super strength to store up their food, just like we see in Proverbs. And ants also work smart. They leave a special trail of chemicals called pheromones that tells them where they've been so they don't get lost or repeat themselves. And ants are incredibly creative. They actually farm aphids in order to have a constant supply of the honeydew aphids release. And the ants' creativity doesn't stop there. In times of flooding, ants will even protect the queen by forming a lifeboat with their own bodies. Just like Solomon reminds us, ants do whatever it takes to gather up the food they need and to protect their colony. They know how to get the job done, and that's with only about 250,000 brain cells. But you? God made you with 10 million brain cells. He's given you everything you need to work strong, smart, and creatively. And because God has given us so much, there's so much more we can do. In the New Testament, Luke records some of Jesus' words. Much will be required of everyone who has been given much. You are creative and strong. You have a brain that works like no one else's. You are determined. And most of all, you are created in God's image. That means that you can work hard at whatever it takes to show love to God and the people He's made. Sometimes that might look like helping raise funds to provide clean water for kids on the other side of the world. Sometimes that might look like cleaning your room before your mom has to remind you five times. Or working hard to help your little sister to build an epic Lego palace. Whatever your work, Remember Solomon's wisdom. You people who don't want to work, think about the ant. Consider its ways and be wise. It has no commander, it has no leader or ruler, but it stores up its food in summer. It 
gathers its food at harvest time. Be wise, work hard. God has given you everything you need to follow through. Solomon really did have some wise words. It's true that we should always work hard and do our very best in every part of our lives. You see, God made us to do good things. When we show love to the world around us, we also show others what God is like, and that's pretty cool. Let's remember this rule for life, work hard. I know sometimes we're tempted to take things the easy way, and sometimes we just don't want to do the work. It's like we get stuck in the slug life. Well, when you feel that way, think about Jesus. Think about what he chose to do for us. He knew what he came to do here on earth. His mission was to give his life for us. Jesus lived the perfect life and he completed his mission for you and for me. So don't wait for someone else to tell you what to do. Make the wise choice. Look around you, see what needs to be done and do it. Work hard and always give your very best effort. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for all the kids listening and we ask that you would help us to work hard and choose to do the right thing as we look to your example. We pray this in your name, Jesus. And everybody said, amen. See you next week, kids.